when I actually do an inject or if I'm actually acting as a, um, as a patient during a scenario, you want to give it the best realistic yeah. inject as possible. We want this training to be as realistic as possible because it does engage the uh, training audience out there. They don't want to make it easy for the, for the medical folks to do their job because in real life their job isn't easy. So they do as much as they can to make it realistic, but they also do a really good job of making it realistically difficult to be able to take care of our patients. That's the important part is being able to get used to seeing this, being able to deal with issues that may come up and being able to work out those issues prior to actually seeing those issues out there in the field. We will explain to the live role players, if you have a certain type of injury, how would you react or how would you present your illnesses even though they're not real? Just switching it up is very helpful because you don't want them to see the same thing over and over and over again, I, the training audience, because they'll get bored. A lot of times we will look at a scenario and kind of dictate the surroundings about it. I have the ability to look at the bigger picture as far as are there other things going on while I'm injecting the scenario? Is there a chemical attack? Are we getting hit with indirect fire? That's what I really try to explain to the folders when they go out as my role players. Be aware of your surroundings. Your surroundings are going to help dictate how you're going to react to the scenario or do any kind of patient play.